I'm always with my family. I'm a family guy, so, you know, whenever our family get together, it's like a huge thing. So, uh, you know, I always go to grandma's house. And that's a special place where my mom and dad always cook up, and then I have all my family there, so. So, Rashad, that big family that got together for Thanksgiving, a lot of good athletes in that group. Uh, is that why you had to learn how to compete? I mean, um, you know, without family, I don't think I'll be the man I am today. You know, um, it's a humbling experience when you have uh, brothers your age and your sister your age. And, you know, we just all act the same, you know, uh, very mature, but <laughs> could be goofy at the same time. So in the house growing up, you know, with four brothers, it was tough. I mean, me being the, the middle one, I felt like I was getting the one picked on the most. Did it make you a little tougher growing up and, and to become the guy you are now? Well, to be honest, I didn't even play football, so I didn't play like no, I only played baseball. We only played baseball, all of us growing up. So, I mean, really? we, we used to play throw up tackle in the house where we used to throw the ball up and my older brother used to always get on their knees to try to tackle us or hit us. So, I mean, we always just been doing that growing up. What have these last few days since that big game against the Eagles, what have those been like for you? Does it feel like there's some pressure off of you now? I mean, you know, it's, you know, I, I see it as, you know, a humbling experience. You know, for me, you know, I really don't worry about, you know, what everybody else say. Um, you know, it's more so of me taking it in and uh, thanking and being, uh, thanks for the support. But other than that, I just, I still have the same mindset, just put my head down and keep going. You know, I know it's been a frustrating year, you know, dealing with injuries and, you know, dealing with just all the other stuff. But, you know, just, just stay in the course. And, you know, that's who I am. I just stay the course and, you know, whatever plays out, plays out. Rashad, you went from a huge college star, 2,200 yards your senior season to be in the backup here at the Seahawks. How tough is that? I mean, no, not really. I mean, because I've been going by the model since I've been in college, you know, you, know, you got to feed the hot hand and, mm -hmm. you know, some, you know, he helps us win games. So I'm a guy, whoever helps us win games, you know, I'm fine with it. And the great thing about it is like me and Chris, like we're really close. Like, you know, we compliment each other. Um, I think he's probably one of the best backs in the league, very underrated. Um, but, you know, just his style of play, you know, what makes him very special. And for him to still be healthy and, you know, take bruisings every week and, for him to keep going out there and playing, you know, that's amazing. In fact, Sunday after the game, you said about Carson, you know, people say we're supposed to hate each other because we compete. You said, I actually love the dude. Yeah, no, yeah. Everything is mutual. I mean, yeah. you feel the same way. I mean, I feel like a lot of people make us try to go against each other because we're competitors. Right. But at the end of the day, you know, it's, it's what it's all about. It's all love. I mean, I'm his teammate. Yeah. Um, can't hate his success. I love his success. I mean. You know, uh, being an underdog he was, coming out seven rounder, and then him just exploding on the scene, you know, that's what's so special about him. Rashad, back around the bye week, there were a lot of people who said teams were interested in trading for you. They wanted you on their ball club. Here you are, still a Seahawk, huge day this last Sunday. What's that mean to you? Mm -hmm. no, that's amazing. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm very blessed to be here, very grateful to be here still. I mean, I never wanted to leave Seattle. I don't think that ever crossed my mind. You know, I knew it was going to be I knew I was going to be in the situation I am now, and I mean, I'm, I still look at it as like I'm still young. I have a lot of carries on my body. I can, um, you know, I'm just a contributor at this point, and I'm happy to be here. I mean, a winning record, I mean, you can't beat that.